many exciting surfaces. Surfaces are smooth or rough, shiny or bumpy. Differences in surface we call texture. Every surface has texture, and an object may have several textures. The earth itself has texture. And so do the living things on the earth. experiences with texture come through our sense of touch. When we touch different objects, we feel that their surfaces differ. And we see that they differ. Textures look different depending upon the way they reflect light. A surface that reflects light unevenly broken by many small shadows, has a rough texture. Surfaces that reflect even amounts of soft, dull light have a matte texture. Surfaces that reflect still more light have a smooth texture. And a very smooth surface that reflects a great deal of light is called shiny. The bright reflecting areas are called highlights. So, whether a texture looks shiny and smooth, coarse and matte, smooth or rough, rocky, bumpy or fuzzy depends upon the way in which it reflects light. In nature, we see a great variety of textures. And light, playing on changing surfaces, reveals the beauty of textures. Natural textures can be a source of pleasure to us when we learn to look carefully.
but we can also derive pleasure from creating our own textures. Man uses paints, tools, and materials to change the texture of surfaces. He may use sandpaper to change texture. Or he may polish surfaces, making them shiny so they reflect highlights. Many different textures may be created in familiar materials. Clay is soft and easy to work. It can be cut, roughened with tools, or changed by the hands of the potter. is fired, it becomes hard and stony. Its texture changes. Or glazes may be added to clay to make still new textures. Paint can be used to create a variety of textures. Paint brushed on wet paper makes fuzzy or furry textures. A brush can be used to apply paint evenly. Or a brush can be used to apply paint unevenly, as in stippling. An almost dry brush can be dragged over the surface. A lifted brush creates irregular raised areas. The shadows that result make the texture rough or ridged. In this student painting, a lifted brush has been used to create several textures. Here, the English painter John Constable applied his paint in thick, bold strokes. but textures can be made without a brush. Fingers create textures in wet paint. Sponging paint on a surface changes its texture. and paint may even be allowed to create its own textures. See what happens when ink is applied to a wet surface. Textures can be varied by combining materials. Crayon may be used over paint or paint may be spread on crayon with a palette knife. Or heavy layers of wax crayon may be painted. And scraping layers of wax crayon and paint makes still different textures.
Here, crayon, paint, and ink have been combined. And through the medium of photography, new and surprising textures may be discovered. Photography may also help us to see distant textures, such as the surface of the moon. or very close, everyday textures we might overlook. So, there are both man-made and natural textures. In nature, beautiful textures may occur at random. Man, however, selects and organizes textured surfaces for their contrast and harmony. In this painting by Pablo Picasso, we see the texture of painted surfaces combined with the grain of wood. Sculptors also combine different textures. A variety of textures can be found in the yarns from which our fabrics are woven. We select our clothing for textural contrast or harmony. In our homes, the textures of woods fabrics, fibers, and metals offer variety and visual interest. Well-designed buildings reveal rich, contrasting textures offered by metal and plaster, glass, brick and stone. In our gardens, we select and group plants, rocks, and pebbles to create beauty. All through life, we learn about textures by touching the surfaces of objects and looking at the way light reflects from these surfaces. Some textures are man-made. Some are natural. In nature, textures seem to occur at random. Man, however, selects and organizes them with care, 
as we can see in this painting by the Mexican artist Rufino Tamayo. Discovering textures can be a daily adventure. Our world is full of many textures for us to enjoy. Some we feel. Some we see. And some we create. 